Jimmy asked, would that be good in hot, arid locations? Yes, absolutely. Hot, arid locations, it's perfect for, because hot, arid locations tend to have uh, a lot of excess warmth in the day, but it actually gets pretty darn cool at night. And so that's the perfect spot for it. But you can actually use similar ideas in a wider variety, even temperate zones and things like that, because once you start adding the vents, you, it, it can, the convective currents that get created can do lots and lots of different possible things. Um, but the, it, like if you were guessing, uh, you would say it was probably a hot arid zone. Okay, um, and I think you talked about this, but uh, in addition to radiation, uh, convection occurs too. You talked about that. Yeah, right? because the, the air gets warmed up and it rises, uh, and so because you know that's going to happen, you can give it more air to warm up and let it come in, or you can use that as a way to generate sort of pulling in cool air from the far side because you know it's going to rise and get out, and that's going to create a suction behind it, a vacuum behind it, and it's going to pull air from wherever you give it the opportunity to pull from. Uh, and so it can do all kinds of things. It's just that it's awkward looking and a little uh, expensive because of the big double wall system. Okay, there were a couple questions about number seven here. I just want to make sure we had them all. So these four are the answers that we want, right? Yeah, yeah so um, uh, I would actually, I think uh, A is sort of the one that's on the borderline. So I would actually get rid of A and go with uh, B, E, F, and G. Um, and then A and C are sort of very close because there are reasons you could answer that, but the other four are the better answers. An absorption cooling tower just really doesn't have anything to do with anything. It's just a different kind of cooling tower. It doesn't really impact uh, sound at all. Okay, Jason asked one question. How do we calculate the air changes per hour? I think this was going back to this one here. I'm not sure if that's... Uh, um, well, Jason, you're going to have to hold on for a different, <laughs> uh, different lecture. That's a, that's a relatively complicated uh, process. Um, uh, there are some rules of thumb about these things, but um, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's, I think, a little too long for this, this yeah. uh, moment. So we'll have to hold that one for a later, a later webinar. All right. Well, um, so I think we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and end it right there. So thank you, Mike. Uh, thanks to all of you who've tuned in and who, to, uh, who submitted your questions. Uh, today. Uh, if you'd like to attend our next ARE live broadcast, uh, where, you're, as I mentioned, you'll be able to ask Mike any questions about the ARE, you can visit blackspectacles.com slash podcast to register to attend. Uh, just like today's episode, you'll have a chance to ask questions and share your answers with Mike for live feedback during the broadcast. Uh, and to learn more about our AIA ARE prep curriculum, go to blackspectacles.com where you can try out any of the free course videos. Um, every one of our courses um, has videos you can check out uh, right there, so take a look. Um, and for those of you who are ready to start preparing for the ARE, uh, and if you're already an AIA member, um, as a part of our partnership with the AIA, you can visit um, the URL that you see right here, um, blacks, uh, bksp.es slash systems dash code. Um, and you, there you can get a 15% discount uh, for the entire duration of your AIA ARE prep membership. And uh, so this is kind of fun. Uh, so the winner from today's uh, group of mock exam test takers, let's see here. So we had, um, we had 15 people submit their, uh, their mock exam answers um, before noon today. And I've numbered them one through 15. Um, and let's see here, Mike, maybe we'll pull up, I'm gonna pull up this uh, just to be <laughs> as clear as I can be here. Let's see, I'm at uh, um, this website here, and we're gonna make a 15 hour, um, our number. So I'm gonna generate a random number here. And uh, so just so you know, as I mentioned, I gave everyone a number, one through 15, and I'll list them off. So number one is Katina, number two is Adriana, and then going down, Daniel, Jason, M, Joseph, J, Laura, C is six, Michael, W is seven, Munir, Rodrigo, Stephen, P, Joanna, Philip, Devang, Carlos, and Shamilia um, is number 15. And so that's one through 15 in order. So to get our Winner will generate the number, and it is number eight. Let's number eight see. is Munir T. So, Munir, uh, you are the winner of our um, 
let's see, you win a, you won a free one month membership uh, for Black Spectacles AIA ARE, ARE prep tutorials and our software tutorials. It's our unlimited membership. Um, so congratulations. Awesome. Um, we'll send you a note um, tomorrow uh, so you can redeem that. Um, and for everyone else, make sure you submit your answers for our next mock exam so you can be entered into our monthly drawing. Finally, please leave a comment below the video to let us know what you think and share any suggestions you may have. Just like every time, I promise we'll read every word that you write and use them to tune our next episodes. So thanks for watching.